Yes guys, what is happening and welcome to another video. Uh, what we're doing today is just going to have a little sort of uh, tidy up and a little talk to you guys on where we're actually going and what we're doing. So uh, first but not least, what we're going to do is put the number plate back on. Um, I, most most of the time I go to Halford to get the 3M, uh, not 3M, the uh, like 3mm uh, pads, put them on the front bumper, put them on the uh, finger, bang. Um, but because my bump has like really got an aggressive bend, most of you that watch me have obviously got uh, an Astra, um, so the bend on it is really aggressive, and I've been struggling to keep the plates on because every like couple of months they just pop off. Um, so we've got these like Velcro heavy duty stick on pads. Um, they are worth from uh, Halfords if anyone actually wants them. Um, they do do eight pound ones where you get quite a lot, but the I don't need too much. Well, if it's going to come off, it's going to come off, but. Um, so these were three quid these ones um so what we're gonna do just gonna clean up the uh, front bumper just get it immaculate so there's no tape or anything left on it um get some bug and tar just clean it so it's nice and smooth um and then we're gonna stick the velcro on it says it takes 15 minutes to go hard and then the uh, it's hardest is after 24 hours so we're gonna stick it on leave it 15 minutes try and stick it on and i'll uh, see how we get on and then i'll uh, give you little updates on what's actually happening on the uh, channel so let's get it Right then guys, so as you can see um, here, it's got like tape, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get some bug and tar remover, soak this in bug and tar, and then I'm going to just heat it up, just so I can get the bits of excess tape off, so I've got some here, and I've got some there, what we're going to do is get it as clean as possible, and then we're just going to put these new Velcro strips on, and uh, get them on, but what we'll do, leave it there. I'm gonna get the heat going, bug and tar remover. Right then, um, so I'm gonna use just auto bright um, bug and tar remover. I'm gonna get some of that. We are literally just gonna spray it on. Oh, it stinks, man. Can't believe how good the bump looks, man. He's done an absolutely amazing job on spraying this bumper. So we're gonna do let that light sink in. Because what some people do is spray it on and they try and get it off straight away. I leave it for a couple of minutes, let it try and sink in and penetrate, and then uh, then I try and get it off. Let's get the extension lead out. I can't believe it. It didn't get that stuck. I knew it. I knew you would. We. There we go. Let's get the uh, heat gun. There we go. Plug her in. Just remember guys, when you do use this, and then you go to put it down, just make sure it's not on anything like plastic or cotton or anything, because obviously this bit's going to be boiling up. And uh, I've done it before, I lent it on a box and it's completely melted through the box. So uh, just remember, it is hot, so put it down on something like concrete or slabs or something, so you should be alright. So what we're going to do now, I'm just going to try and warm this bit up here and here and there, and uh, try and get that off. So what I'm literally going to do guys, you could literally just get like a bank card or anything you want uh, but obviously you got to watch it because if you get the bank card and you lock that on the paint you are going to actually scratch the paint so I'm just going to use my nails that's probably not the best thing to do but because it's obviously the bump, the number plate's covering it it's probably your best bet without actually damaging it so it hasn't actually done too bad to be fair just considering I've just soaked it see when it's really thin it just comes off like easy as that get the nail on it and it is coming off pretty easy so I don't, I don't think I'll even need the heat gun but I'm gonna leave it in anyway because I'm gonna leave it in the video because like I say if if I need it I'll show it yeah if I don't I won't so uh, yep yeah, pretty much that's pretty decent to be fair so what I'm gonna do is get remaining what off what I can and then I'm gonna give it another little lick of the uh, 
do that some on that side as well. So what we've got now guys is we've just got like the residue left over. Um, as you can see, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray a bit more bug and tar and then I'm going to use this nice clean cloth just to get the uh, residue off because there might be some like contaminants on it so when I come to stick my new stuff it's going to be kind of like bug and tar on top of it, do you know what I mean? So uh, you're yeah, going to clean this off now and then uh, put the, the new stuff out. Right, so I'm just going to spray a bit on the cloth. Just tries to like spread, but just it does come off. It's just because it's like the glue of the uh, original pads. Man, it's going everywhere. Bloody hell! There we go. First, you don't succeed. Spray again. Happy days. Look at that absolutely gleaming so I'm gonna do while I'm here um, obviously some of you guys remember I had eyebrows um, they seem to have like fell off. Uh, they must have got air underneath them and ripped them off on the motorway or something. So what I'm going to do, pretty much same again. I'm not going to bore you to death. Um, spray a bit of that and then uh, wipe off if need be. So yeah, I'll get to you, get back to you when they're done. So right then, guys. So it's like a moment of true time to see how good this actually is. Uh, my lad on Instagram recommended these to me. So uh, yeah, if these don't work. Thanks a lot. If they do work, yes, um, so what we're going to do. Uh, I'm guessing one side is going to stick to the bumper like that, like that, and then we're going to get one other side and stick it to the number plate like so. So uh, it's just quite simple really. I'm not going to bore you to death, but one's going there, one's going there, same there, same there, and then let's get it on. So literally, all I'm going to do is just peel it off like so. Um, well, if we can peel it off, bloody hell, sticky that is. Yep. Wow, well, that's pretty sticky. Um, yeah, she's gonna see it on that, like that. Doesn't matter if it's straight, wonky, or whatever. But we've got one there and one there. And then what we're gonna do? Exactly the same on the number plate. So give one across there. Gonna clean that and get that off. One across there, like that. Then hopefully. It will stick on. Oh, wait. Sweet. So now that the number plate is all clean, you can you can come in a bit closer if you want. Um, well, it's that hot, yeah. Even these are not melting. Um, what I'm going to do? Just gonna slap one across there, like so. And then we're going to get another one. If we can unpeel it. Yep. And stick it. Jeez, they're sticky man. I stick it across there. It does say 15 minutes, so I might, uh, do you think I should wait or just stick it on? What would you do? Just, you're not going to talk? I'd just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does say 15 minutes, up to 15 minutes or 24 hours for its like, strongest strength. But, it should be all right. right. Let's, let's uh, give it a go and see how good these are. At least though, you know if I like, you know if you position it wrong when you put pads on and you've literally ruined the pad at least now it's not straight i can pull it back off oh, come on baby please work this is a test now this is if this is crap yeah i'm getting a refund from halfords oh can you hit rip oh, that's not too bad I've got a little bit of overhang here, but I don't want to rip them off because I reckon I'll rip the few in. Oh, sweet. 
that's where all that is. Um, yeah, I was uh, debating smoothing it and that and getting like a vinyl plate and just putting it there but see the only thing is why well, it's a bit difficult because obviously the bend is right there and that's where the Y is so it's it puts massive pressure there um, obviously with it being forwarded it's going to have a bit of but yeah it seems, seems pretty good it's, uh, it's definitely on it's just let's see how long it stays on for you at me yeah we going right then um what i've got is i found the other uh, eyelid um this side actually come off uh, i think it was on the motorway and it blew off uh, so now that the bumper and all that is tidy and looks immaculate what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put one side on just to see how it looks um if you can like get a front end look at the car what what do you think do you think imagine that on that side do you think it would complete the car or do you think it would better off I don't know, you know, I think putting these on, I think it looks better off. It looks clean. Um, the only thing I don't want to do yet yeah, is put too much on because sometimes when you can when you do that it looks tacky. But when I get my intercooler, I'm debating, take the grill out and I'll probably get Hayden stenciled in Arden Blue. Um, if I get aero catches and a bonnet vent, is that gonna make it look tacky? Because that's what I don't want to do. Um, Anyway, one well, my cameraman's here, I thought I'd do this. What are you doing? Getting ash on? What I'm going to do is just remove this. Because I forgot that we did it. It's going to kill this season. You know. It's going to be difficult because it's warmed up. So what I'm going to do is because both sides are completely different. I don't know if you want to show them the other side. See this bit? My real OGs. I wonder if you even noticed, yeah. This so this one on the other side is black. Right then, for those of you that like have followed me for since the beginning, I don't know how many of you have noticed, but this on the other side is still black and this bit is black. So uh, what I'm going to do, obviously, we've kind of like sorted out the problems on the car we like the front bumper and we need to tart it up now and make it look better so obviously the brakes are looking sweet um i'm going to take this heat heat gun this i'm going to take this off then i'm going to go to the other side heat this up and then take it off i'm ne never pull your wrap off um because if you do pull your wrap off and you paint crap you will pull the lacquer off with it i don't know if you want to zoom in on that but uh it has actually pulled the lacquer off the actual strip um as you can see here. Right, oh, shut that. Shut that off over there. Woo! Shit, that gets hot, man. We want to make it all uniform and all look the same, so I think it's only right that we do this. Oh, it's pulling the lacquer off. Look. Oh, no. Right then, um, as I said, use a heat gun. Um, because the pack, most of you know that the front bumper was absolutely toast. Um, and it looks like it's the same on here. Um, I don't know if you want to get a close up on like these bits here. But it's literally just pulled the lacquer straight off these side bits. Um, so I'm guessing at some point we're going to have to take these off and get them resprayed because they look naff. I can't notice it that bad. See, look, it's just pulled it all off. Totally should come off easy. See, look at that, man. You heat it up, yeah. It's mad out. If you wanted to ruin someone with a wrap car, just heat it up and you'd be able to peel it off easy. But don't do that because that's nasty. That man comes off straight away, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. There we go, so we're all blue. Sweet. We're gonna flash this through the car or do not drop it on the seeds. Right then guys, uh, that's pretty much it from me. Um, I've got a couple of things I want to show you and I want your advice on and I want to see what you think. I know most of you will probably say, oh, just do what you want to do. 
but I'm, I'm unsure um, so what I'm gonna do run for a couple of things with you now and I'll uh, just show you what I'm thinking and uh, what do you think I should do so right so as I've already showed you bonnet vents yeah or no do you think I should do bonnet vents not ah what then so what do you think do you think I should do eyelids um, as I showed earlier I'm not too sure I might just leave it because it looks nice and clean um, secondly when I get the black intercooler do I take the grill out and put Hayden or just being Hayden sprayed on the grill uh, on the intercooler in Arden Blue so black intercooler Arden Blue Hayden um, secondly uh, do I get arrow catches so arrow catch there arrow catch there and then one vent up there that's I've always wanted this one Nissan GTR vent um, after that I need a new headlight bulb because this is the only one that works um, and I could do with a new side light bulb because I don't think that works so I need a headlight and a side light if anyone can recommend a good headlight or side light bulb massively appreciated um, I noticed the other day this one ha actually hasn't got one so I haven't got a headlight in this side um, and there's the 501 bulb it's blue I think so I don't really want a blue one nice ice white I think we're gonna go for um, and fogs what would people recommend on fogs can you get like nice bright HID kind of fogs um, I think that would look nice and cool look so look at the grill the grill looks nice and plus black would it be a shame to take it out I don't know um, right then next sort out the road rash the road rash needs to be sorted so wheels refurb absolute definitely um, in here I'm guessing I'm gonna to have to take these off and get them resprayed because that is a mess. Um, then come over to the other side. Um, I've got to take this side skirt off because it looks absolutely horrendous. Um, it's basically snapped. Uh, it's all cracked there, so I'm either gonna take it off and I'm not gonna put another one on, or I'm gonna buy a Maxton Design one. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Then we come into the humble abode. Um, steering wheel I'm getting I'm getting annoyed now I do like it don't get me wrong it looks absolutely the nuts but the fact that I've got no horn and if I somehow crash or someone crashes into me my head's gonna hit that and that is not gonna be fun so secondly I need to decide what I'm gonna do with this because this is no good third I need a new vent because my plans have changed and then something's getting installed the next video is gonna be something rather sleek being installed here um so that one that is gonna be fun i'm looking forward to that video so that is gonna be really soon uh other than that guys i've got a short shifter to fit so it's gonna make the throw even smaller so if anyone sees the david lawrence um the short shifter things he puts on the short on the shifters shifter cables we're gonna do the first Astro VXR one, so hopefully that goes well. Just got to find a time and date that suits both of us. And pretty much uh, all I got really to do, other than that, um, have a haircut and a shave. Uh, I'm going to get some different coolant hoses um, just to spruce up the bay a bit. Nice blue, maybe black, maybe grey hoses. I don't know. Um, and then obviously, top hat, intercooler, and a map. And then I think maybe do a uh, rear anti roll bar and uh, the rear bushes and then I think maybe Michelin's get some Michelin Pilots Sport 4s so that they're exactly the same as the ones I've got on the front and then I think that's it then I think it is good to be sold <laughs> oh my god one more one more one more thing um, an SMD if it's SND or SMD uh, where they change the colour in the dash so basically what they do is see like here it's all it's all orange basically change the color of all the dials so basically change the color of all the dials um even even here see how all these are orange and that's orange just basically changes the color of all of them so i think that that is definitely going to be on the cards and then I think that's going to be like the perfect Astro VXR and when, when I come to sell the car it should want absolutely nothing 
Um, the cam belt and the water pump is going to be done as well prior to sale. <coughs> so at least then I've done my absolute best to look after this car and make it immaculate. So uh, yeah, it was a bit of a mad one today. Uh, it's the missus birthday. So I haven't had much time out in the front because obviously it's a birthday. I'm her servant for the day. Um, so yeah, it's just a little video because I love interacting with you guys and seeing your thoughts and what you think. And I hope you like watching what I do. Um, I don't want to come across like an arrogant bugger and be like, yo, subscribe to my channel, check my channel out because I'm not like that. Um, I hope that you, if you did like the channel, um, drop a subscribe. Um, if you got bored of this one and thought, oh, what's he doing? Check out the other videos because I do a bit more than talk. Um, and if I bored any of you, then I sincerely apologize. Uh, so that is it for today's video. Uh, the next lot of the videos coming, we're actually going to be doing stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. Right, guys, last, last thing now. I'm sorry if I bore any of you. Sorry if I go on. Um, I just want to go into true detail. I don't like, like, I'm not going to bullshit about anything to be honest, um, what happens, you're gonna get to see everything. Um, as some of you may know, um, hopefully it shows you, um, when I start the car up, yep. Well then, watch this, watch this, watch this. So the, the airbag light is on, and the traction control light is on, and that is because of the CIM unit behind, um, basically, when I took the steering wheel off, I basically messed about with the uh, spring, the ring inside. Um, if anyone knows what to do, um, I have basically been told I need to buy a CIM unit with the same model number uh, of mine. So mine's a GM model number. Then I need to go to Vauxhall and buy the, I think code, the part number code or something. Then I need to take that to someone with a Tech 2 um, and get that code programmed onto the new um, CIM unit, um, but someone else has told me I need to take it to Vauxhall and literally get new ECU set, new keys. Um, I don't really know too much about it, so uh, if anyone knows about the CIM unit, please comment down below and let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to what the future holds. I'm looking forward to gaining loads of followers, meeting new people. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Do the bits, like, share, subscribe. You you know how we do it around here. Um, yeah. Here's to keeping it real. Peace.